Well, hello to you and welcome back. And I'm here with breaking news for DC fans. And this is out right now. So it has been officially announced that we will indeed get the Snyder Cut on HBO Max. And I'm going to read the official press release by warnersmediagroup.com. So, so glad you tuned in. If you're new here, kindly click that like button and click subscribe. I'd love to see you here again. So let's go straight into the press release. So it says, After global passionate fan calls to action and the release The Snyder Cut movement, HBO Max and Warner Bros. Pictures announced today that it will exclusively world premiere Zack Snyder's director's cut of the Warner Bros. Pictures DC feature film Justice League in 2021. Snyder surprised fans with the news this morning during a live online commentary of his film Man of Steel with Henry Cavill. Release the Snyder Cut first became a passionate rallying social media cry among fans in 2017 and has not let up. From countless press articles and hundreds of thousands of social media mentions, it became a powerful global movement among cinephiles and comic book fans. I want to thank HBO Max and Warner Brothers for this brave gesture of supporting artists and allowing their true visions to be realized. Also, a special thank you to all those involved in the Snyder Cut movement for making this a reality, said Zack Snyder. Since I got here 14 months ago, the chant to release the Snyder Cut has been a daily drumbeat in our offices and inboxes. Well, the fans have asked and we are thrilled to finally deliver. At the end of the day, it really is all about them. And we are beyond excited to be able to release Zack's ultimate vision for this film in 2021. This could never have happened if it weren't for the hard work and combined efforts of the teams at HBO Max and Warner Bros. Pictures, said Robert Greenblatt, who is the chairman of Warner Media Entertainment and Direct to Consumer. When Zack and Debbie shared the extraordinary vision of where Zack wanted to take Justice League, my team and our counterparts at Warner Bros. took it as a mission to solve the many issues that stood in the way, said Kevin Riley, Chief Content Officer at HBO Max, President TNT, TBS, and True TV. Thanks to partnership at Warner's and the relentless pursuit of the entire Warner Max team, we are able to deliver this incredibly exciting moment for Zach, the fans, and HBO Max. Thanks to the efforts of a lot of people, we are excited to bring fans this highly anticipated version of Justice League, said Toby Emmerich, chairman of Warner Bros. Pictures Group. This feels like the right time to share Zach's story, and HBO Max is the perfect platform for it. We are glad the entire creative planets aligned, allowing us to release the Snyder Cut. In Justice League, fueled by his restored faith in humanity and inspired by Superman's selfless act, Bruce Wayne enlists the help of his newfound ally Diana Prince to face an even greater enemy. Together, Batman and Wonder Woman work quickly to find and recruit a team of metahumans to stand against this newly awakened threat. But despite the formation of this unprecedented league of heroes, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Cyborg, and The Flash, it may be already too late to save the planet from an assault of catastrophic proportions. So I'm guessing that's a synopsis. And they also go on to talk about the Justice League screenplay penned by Chris Terrio, story by Chris Terrio and Zack Snyder based on characters from DC. And, you know, they go on and on to talk about all the people who will be involved. So this is great news. Here's the update for you, DC fans. Let me know what you think about all this news. And it's great to see that the Snyder Cut worked. Now, I'm just going to put this out here. For those of us who are Star Wars fans, I think we would have loved to see what George Lucas would have wanted to do. I wonder if there could be a release, the George Lucas cut of perhaps what he wanted to do with the sequels before Disney took it over. Let's just putting that out there. So this is great news. Um, Share your thoughts. If you like this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. I would love to see her again. And thank you to my Patreon supporters, to Gary Adderley, Scotty Brown, to Kristen Rowe, to Diane Hawkins, to Corliss J. McClendon, and Delcinia Preston. Thank you all for watching this, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a blessed one.